Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to my F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. We are now at Suzuka, off the back of a DNF at Singapore. Yeah, we need to do better here and running wide there, that's not the answer. But we're now pushing hard to try and get, once again, out of Q1. And I'm going to be honest, Suzuka's not really one of my favourite circuits. I do struggle with Sector 1 actually. It's one of those sectors that I just struggle to nail every time. And I think six times out of ten I can nail it. But the other four times I'm always offline in some way. And it just compromises me. But you can see there Q1 only 15th. And we do have a 10 place penalty. So I had to take on some fresh components. And I just thought may as well do it here on a circuit that I'm not 100% on anyway. And just take the pain here instead of doing it at a track I'm good at and potentially losing points there I may as well take the pain on a circuit I'm not too confident at and even if I have a bad race it, it's all it's all good anyway we're in Q2 now and coming out of the last chicane I'm actually feeling pretty good about this lap I don't think the bollard's feeling particularly good after I've just clobbered it but we're now heading onto the straight and it is P7 is that going to be enough to get us through? No. We're starting P13, which will end up being the back row of the grid for the Japanese Grand Prix. We come to you live today from the Mia Prefecture in the south of Japan's Honshu Island for a race that has seen many title deciders over the years. Some simple some controversial, but all contributing to a legacy that makes the Japanese Grand Prix an indispensable stop in any Formula One season. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Sonoda, Valtteri Bottas, and Norris, Sainz, Giovinazzi, Ricardo, and Robert Schwartzman. Lundgaard, Russell, they've taken a grid penalty. Esteban Ocon and Stroll, Vettel, Joe, Mick Schumacher and Artem Markalov, Mazepin, Latifi, Joker and Callum Eilert. Now it's almost time for... So we have it all to do here on the grid at Suzuka. What can we do from P21 in 27 laps? It's lights out and away we go. I'm already going over to cover a very fast start in Callum Eilert. As we fall down to stone dead last. I'm trying to stick my car up the inside. And we've got Callum Eilert back. Having a little look at Latifi. That's not happening there. So we've maintained 21st position off the start. And I'm going to try. Maybe have a cheeky look at getting around the outside. And switching to the inside there. Doing the Daniel Ricciardo move. From 2014 as I recall. Track, and we have gained up to P20. And Jeff's in my ear about an incident right on track. I didn't see anyone go into anybody. But we're going to now take a dive up the inside here. And try and get a couple of cars. Do we manage to? Oh well we tapped Mick Schumacher. And in losing momentum. Nikita Mazepin managed to get back ahead. And now Mark loves having a look up the inside. He's tagged me. And onto the grass we go, losing the places I gained. I oh, don't know why Markelov was going for it there. We've now got a virtual safety car. The virtual safety car has been deployed. And I'm stuck Slow behind and a an Alfa delta. Romeo with no front wing. But, lap later, he's in the pits. And I'm now looking down the inside of Latifi to get P19 back. Right, time to close down the two Haas cars. This has been a disaster of a start so far, but we've now set the fastest lap of second. the race. Albeit, probably because the virtual safety car was ending and we were right at the back. So now we're going to hassle Mazepin just a bit. And we're going to try and get down the inside of the chicane. Got in the, got a run, got the slipstream, and now we're just going to take the dive up the inside. Easy, easy enough. 
next up then is his teammate nice work. That Mick Schumacher and I think there's an Alpine directly ahead of him so actually no it isn't sorry it's Zhou Guan Yu in 16th so he's in the Williams to turn to Mick Schumacher I don't think I'm close enough to attempt it here but I'm gonna take the lunge anyway and Mick just wow Mick just getting out of the way there being very submissive seeing me coming despite the fact that it was a Massive dive bomb from such a long way back, but we have gained the position right next up is Zhou Guan Yu Are we close enough to do the same to him? Yes, we are And we've got actually gone off the circuit there, but I'm oh we, we've gone into Zhou. We, we went into him there. So okay, maybe not Best to do that dive bomb again because we've actually Given complete. damage to the Williams, but at this point, you know frustration now. is starting to kick in a bit because I don't want to be lurking at the back of the field. Right, I make my one and only stop on lap 10 for the medium tyres as it will be faster than the hard tyres. But again, just not getting set to one right. And we're now watching Robert Schwartzman in the Ferrari who's doing Schwartzman things. He has just gone round there. And the Alpine, I think, has just had to break to not go into him. Did the Alpine touch? No, but he's stuck there. And I'm having to navigate my way around, and I've, well, Schwartzman's pretty much reversed into me okay, as clear. I'm navigating. But Schwartzman, once again, doing Schwartzman things this season in the Ferrari. I can't see them retaining him for a second season next year. What a disappointing season it's been for him. Right, next up is Sebastian Vettel in P13. Can we get him pretty quickly? We're going to have to have a look down the inside here. And have we got it done? No, because we're not going to make the corner. Oh, no, we have got it done. I really thought Vettel was going to have the up and under them. But I did, he, he didn't make the corner as well. So it's all good. Right, next up then is Daniel Ricciardo. And Schwartzman behind me still in P13. So he's still got an outside chance of a point here. Especially if I keep causing devastation in this race. But we're now catching up to Daniel Ricciardo in P11. This is going to be a relatively straightforward seconds. move down the inside. No, Ricciardo's got me covered. And we've just run out of straight. This circuit is proving difficult to overtake. And I'm going to be honest, my race pace here just isn't fantastic. You know, it's not as quick as it has been on some of the other tracks. I'm now stuck behind Ricciardo. We're going to take a dive up the inside and Daniel Ricciardo going very defensive there. But I've got my car up the inside and forced my way through. That is P11. Next up is Carlos Sainz in P10. And if I can just get ahead of this scrapping, this little scrapping pack here, I will accept that. Right, Carlos Sainz next in P10. He is holding on to that one point that I so dearly cover after a race that's just really not been my day at all. And we're going to go round the outside there. And with the momentum we have, we just got through quite easily, didn't we? Right, next up is Antonio... Not Antonio Giovinazzi. Good. Good job. It's nice Christian Lungard up next in P9. And he should be ready for the taking. But we're not going to be able to do it on the straight. We're going to have to wait to the end of the lap to get it done. And here we are. End of the lap. Lap 22. We've only got a few to go. So let's try and get this done quickly. We've got to overtake here. I wish I wish there was DRS on that straight, to be honest. But anyway, we're now going to go down the inside of Lungard. And that is P9. And Giovinazzi is next in P8. And I, I will accept that. Like, like I said, our race pace here just hasn't been that, that quick. So P8, realistically, is the very best I could do with the race pace I had. And with just how much I was struggling. So... Especially as well when you consider my, where I started on the grid and the fact that overtaking round here isn't easy. We're going to go down the inside of Giovinazzi. That's P8. And realistically, like I said, that's the best I could do given the situation we had. It's not been a great We're race. Our teammate by I've had a couple of bumps with seconds. Joe Guan Yu and Sebastian Vettel. But it looks like we're going to take P8. But it's Max Verstappen for Red Bull who picks up the win. So crucially, it's not our teammate our to the making gains on us, that big gains on us seconds. in the championship. But I am pretty sure he will take another little nibble out of our points lead. And suddenly, the championship is opening up a bit here. 
It's P8. Like I said, that, that's the most I could have done. Victory for the team from Milton Keynes then after a quality performance. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. So let's review the driver's standings. So Leclerc that gets second, and it's Sonoda getting third today. in his home now, race. Wow, Sands. the scenes in Suzuka for that would be incredible. We all remember when Kobayashi got the podium, field, don't we? I still have goosebumps really over that. But yeah, Sonoda third, Gasly fourth, and Norris rounding out the top five. We're in eighth, so Leclerc gains another 14 points on us in the championship. And suddenly, me, it's gone from me having the championship in the bag to Leclerc starting to put a charge in and hounding me down here. It's now 37 points. The smallest the gap has been in a long time. What's going to happen at the end of the season? Is Leclerc going to hunt me down or will I be able to hold on to the championship? One thing's certain, we need a better race than the last two we've had because... We didn't finish Singapore, and here we only got eight. So in the last two races, we only picked up four points. We need to do better. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you're new here and you want to see more content from me. Until the next time, I've been Joe. Thank you for watching. TTFN, guys. Ta-ta for now.